Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Now that a new Congress has been sworn in, the focus on Capitol Hill is shifting back to New York Congressman George Santos. The Republican lawmaker has admitted making up much of his resume before he was elected to his first term in November. Now, a formal complaint filed with the Federal Election, election Commission accuses him of campaign finance violations. Scott McFarlane has more. Beginning his third full day as a congressman, George Santos is facing a lot of questions, but he's giving no answers. Mr. Santos, there's some campaign finance concerns and questions about your finances. Can you answer the campaign finance concerns? Personal space, please. A little personal space. Why don't you answer our questions? Congressman, you seem to be dodging questions about your finances. Santos has already been accused of lying about key parts of his life story, including his education, work history, and claiming his grandparents survived the Holocaust, is now the subject of a formal civil complaint to the Federal Election Commission. A nonpartisan D.C. watchdog group, the Campaign Legal Center, filed the complaint, questioning how Santos made a $700,000 contribution to his campaign, considering he previously reported earning about $50,000 a year. Your complaint is something pretty bold. That there's a possibility there was a foreign actor that was funding this campaign? I think it's always a possibility when someone appears to be going to great lengths to mask the true sources of their campaign's funds. That possibility is doubly the case here because, as we know, Mr. Santos is wanted by Brazilian authorities, so he has some connection overseas. Meanwhile, Santos is one of the needed yes votes in the U.S. House last night to approve new rules to govern the House, now under Republican control. This vote, the yeas are 220, the nays are 213. The resolution is agreed to. Another narrow margin victory for new House Speaker Kevin McCarthy on his first order of business as Speaker. The House will be in order. The new rules approved last night give more members of the key committee positions to members of the House Freedom Caucus, the conservative members of the Republican conference. Also makes it easier to potentially oust Speaker McCarthy. Regarding that criminal investigation in Brazil of Congressman Santos, it's tied to an alleged incident of check fraud in 2008. Vlad? Uh, Scott, I suspect that Mr. Santos, Congressman Santos, has not seen the last of you or the other Capitol Hill reporters. Thank you very much for your reporting. We appreciate it.